Don't you just hate it when it happens? You live in a country where it's not supposed to be freezing, or part of a country that's not supposed to be freezing, and then one morning, as you can see, crack light right half in two. Gents, welcome back. Uh, in today's episode, I'll show you how to frostproof these bull valves. This is part of my irrigation system, so I'll just uh, strip it off and I'll get you back in the workshop and show you how it's done. Okay, so first out, let's check out the failure mode uh, of these valves. By the way, as I was taking it off, I actually saw that this one was also cracked right half in two. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. These ball valves crack uh, due to the fact it's not the water freezing on both sides of the valve. It, it's actually the water within the little ball. As you close it off, there's some water stuck in there. And that expands as it freezes up, uh, creating enormous pressure and then cracking the ball valve. Now, um, like I said previously, we live in a part of Africa where it's not supposed to be that cold in the mornings. But this, this winter was uh, a little bit of uh, an, excep an exception to the rule. And uh, we had some frost. And this is, where it, wh this is what happened. Now... What I'm going to show you today is how to frostproof these ball valves for outside use. I actually, a friend of mine, Johan, uh, he showed this to me and uh, it makes 100% sense. So what we're going to do, is, well, the tools that we are going to need is a little hand drill and a 2mm drill bit. Alright, so I've only got a 2.5mm but it's, it'll, it'll work the same. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to fit the new valves and what you uh, what we're going to do now then is as the ball is closed we'll be drilling a little 2.5 that little two two and a half millimeter hole into the cavity that the ball creates by doing that you actually drain leaf space for wind freezes for the water to get out as it as it starts expanding and that's a long and the short okay so this one is one of the cracked valves that i just uh, just to show you, this is a little hole that we'll drill in. You drill it as close to the spindle of the valve as possible. And then you just make sure that you've got the valve in a closed position when you drill it so that you actually drill into the ball and not into the side of it. out so let's go and fit it and see if it works gentlemen welcome back today's tomorrow uh, I've got everything put together life unfortunately happened but we're back now so now I'm going to show you now that I've got everything put together the only drawback on drilling a ball valve is is actually just the moment when you open it there's a little bit of water uh, coming out of there and then once you close it again if you want to throttle a ball valve, this is not going to work because the moment you start throttling it, it keeps on running. But other than that, either full open or full closed works like a charm. And then my garden sprinkler starts going. I think I'm going to wrap it up and call it for this video. As always, if you've made it thus far, thank you very much. It's much appreciated. And if you like what you see, please rate, comment, subscribe. And uh, I'll see what I can cook up for you. And as always, stay safe.